Hello and welcome to our film Swedish tax regulation for non-Swedish construction companies, F-tax approval and subcontractors. Hosting today is me, Jenny, and... And me, Maria. Today we're going to talk about the rules that apply when you hire a subcontractor and when you are hired as a subcontractor. But first of all, we need to explain the concept of F-tax approval because it is an important concept, isn't it, Jenny? Yes, having F-tax approval means that your company is responsible for paying its own preliminary tax. And if you're a sole trader, it also means that you pay your own social security contributions. If tax approval serves as a guarantee for other companies that they won't be responsible for deducting preliminary tax and pay social security contributions when they hire you. Most Swedish construction companies therefore require their subcontractors to have F tax approval. This is also important if you hire subcontractors. If you have F-tax approval, you must state this on your invoices and estimates, godkänd för F-skatt in Swedish. If you fail to do so, then your client is obliged to deduct preliminary tax from your payment. And if you're a sole trader, the client also needs to pay social security contributions. F-tax approval also shows potential customers that you don't have any tax debts, which makes your company more credible. So Maria, what happens if you do not have an F-tax approval and you're hired as a subcontractor in Sweden? If you are a subcontractor without F-tax approval and you are hired to conduct construction works in Sweden, then your client has to deduct preliminary tax with 30%. The same rules apply when you are a subcontractor to other payers, such as the Swedish state, municipalities or regions. What should you do if you hire a subcontractor to do the work for your company? If your subcontractor is not approved for F-tax, the location where the work is carried out determines whether or not you need to deduct preliminary tax. You should normally deduct preliminary tax at the rate of 30% on payments relating to compensation for work carried out in Sweden. The rules apply regardless of whether the compensation is for outsourced labor or other compensation for work in Sweden. There are, however, three exceptions from the requirements to deduct preliminary tax. Jenny, tell us more about that. The first exception is if your subcontractor has F-tax approval. The second is if your subcontractor has an exemption decision from the Swedish tax agency that shows that you are exempted from the obligation to deduct preliminary tax. And the third and last exception is if the Swedish tax agency has reached a preliminary tax adjustment decision regarding the subcontractor. So the question is, who can apply for an exemption decision, Maria? Either you or your subcontractor can apply. The reason for exemption may be that the subcontractor does not have a permanent establishment and is therefore not liable for tax in Sweden. A permanent establishment for a non-Swedish construction company is when the construction product in Sweden runs for a certain period of time, commonly either 6 or 12 months. And Jenny, how about preliminary tax adjustment? Who can apply for that? Your subcontractor can apply for a preliminary tax adjustment if they are not liable for tax in Sweden. If they have this decision, then you don't have to deduct preliminary tax on your payments to them. 
Let me give you an example of how it works when your subcontractor doesn't have uh, F-tax approval. A Polish construction company is contracted by a Swedish company to perform construction services on a building in Sweden. The Polish company does not have F-tax approval and the Swedish tax agency has not reached any other decisions regarding the obligation to deduct preliminary tax. The invoice from the Polish company consists of the following. Materials, 25,000 Swedish kronor. Labor costs, 100,000 Swedish kronor. And travel costs, 10,000 Swedish kronor. Since the Polish company does not have F-tax approval, and is not exempt, the Swedish company must deduct preliminary tax on the part of the invoice concerning compensation for work performed in Sweden. In this case, 30% of the 100,000 Swedish kronor. This means that the Polish company will not be paid the total invoiced amount. After preliminary tax deduction, the Swedish company has to account for the preliminary tax deduction in the PAYE tax return the month after the payment has taken place. The PAYE stands for pay as you earn. The deducted preliminary tax will be credited to the Polish company in the Swedish income tax system. If the Polish company is not liable for tax in Sweden, it can apply for an early refund of this preliminary tax. Remember the possibility to apply for an exemption decision from the Swedish tax agency, which means that the company that pays the compensation do not have to make preliminary tax deduction, even though the subcontractor does not have an F-tax approval. Now you know why it is important to have F-tax approval, and it's because this determines who is responsible for paying preliminary tax to the Swedish tax agency. You have to apply to the Swedish tax agency for F-tax approval, and you can easily apply at skatteverket.se through the e-service reg registration of foreign companies in Sweden. When can a non-Swedish construction company be approved for F-tax? Well, you can be approved for F-tax if you conduct business operations in Sweden or intend to start business operations. However, companies that only carry out business activities and work from abroad cannot be approved for F-tax, even if they undertake assignments for Swedish companies. And you must also have filed tax returns and paid taxes and other fees in your home country and in Sweden if you already conduct business operations here. To show that you fulfill this requirement, you must provide documents from the tax and social security authorities in your home country along with your application, confirming that you have no debts with regard to taxes and social security contribution. These documents must be less than three months old and they should be in the language of your home country. This regulation applies to both sole traders and legal entities such as limited companies. If you have a close company, you must also show that the partners do not have debts relating to taxes or social security contributions. In order to do so, you have to send documents with your F-tax application confirming that you have no debts. Now you might be wondering what a closed company is. A closed company is a company where a maximum of four partners own more than half of the total voting shares. When your company is approved for F-tax, it means that you're trusted to report and pay your taxes. So what do you have to do to earn this trust? Well, you need to file your tax returns and pay your taxes on time. 
And if you don't declare and pay these taxes, your company's F tax approval may be withdrawn. This can make it difficult for you to get new assignments. As mentioned before, many companies only hire subcontractors with an F tax approval. Creditors may also check for F tax approval in connection with loan applications. Since this shows whether or not you have handled your tax payments properly. Jenny, in which cases can the Swedish tax agency withdraw F tax approval? The Swedish tax agency can withdraw F tax approval for several reasons. And let me give you some examples. If you do not conduct business operations in Sweden, or you have not started business operation as intended, or you have misused your F tax approval and not filed income tax return. The Swedish tax agency can also withdraw F tax approval if you are prohibited from engaging in trade or are declaring bankrupt, or if you have been deficient in reporting or paying taxes or other charges in Sweden. Finally, you can request to have your F tax approval withdrawn if you no longer need it. Keep in mind that you must delete the F tax statement on your invoices and estimates if your approval is withdrawn. As Jenny just mentioned, the Swedish tax agency can withdraw your F tax approval on the grounds of irregularities in reporting or payment of taxes or other charges in Sweden. This applies if the irregularities are significant. So what is a significant irregularity? For example, if you have a debt exceeding 20,000 Swedish kronor, or if your tax payments have been behind schedule for more than 12 months in a row. It is also significant if there have been four or more irregularities in your reporting or payment of these debts, regardless of the amount involved or you have not filed VAT returns for the full financial year. Now you're probably wondering how you can check whether a subcontractor has F tax approval. Well, there is an e-service called Retrieve Company Information. Here you can find out whether a registered company has F tax approval. You can use the e-service without logging in and you will receive an answer by email. You can also get information by phoning our tax information service. To sum up this information, we can say that F-tax is a key concept when it comes to deducted preliminary tax. If you have F-tax approval, your customers don't have to worry about paying preliminary tax for you. In this way, it serves as a guarantee for your customers that you are trustworthy, but you have to continue to earn this trust by paying your taxes. We hope you found our presentation helpful and we recommend that you watch our other films to learn more about the Swedish tax regulations for non-Swedish construction companies. But Jenny, how do our viewers get in touch with us if they have questions? Well, you can find most information on our website, skatteverket.se, but you can also call our tax information service uh, and the phone number is on our website and you can ask your questions in English. That's right. And with that said, Jenny and I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs>